Hey, this is Thad Peterson from ringsuits.com and sanov.us with part two of the kimono bite suit video series. In the first video, we looked at the differences between a classic style jacket and a kimono style jacket. And in this video, we're going to focus on the differences between full training weight and semi training weight. After this video, I think you'll have a good understanding of which style of jacket's gonna work best for you. And if you are interested in a kimono jacket, you should be able to choose between full training weight protection and semi-training weight protection for your particular needs. One last consideration when you're looking at kimono bite suit jackets is the question of whether you wanna go with full training weight kimono or semi training weight kimono. I happen to have one of each here. This is a brand new full training weight kimono and this one uh, that you may have seen on the Facebook page is my personal semi training weight kimono. This one's been to Brazil for decoy seminars, uh, Colombia, Southern California, not sure where all it's been. Wade Morrell has taken it around with his bite work seminars. And uh, it's getting to have pretty decent mobility because it's getting pretty well broken in. So, um, you know, it's not a bad option. You got, you got some nice biting, biting surfaces in the front and back of the armpit area there. But at the same time, um, it's, got, it's got decent shoulder mobility. It's actually starting to feel pretty good. And that's what I was talking about with the kimono jackets is that once you get them broken in, get some bites into the front and back of those shoulder areas, they start to get pretty nice as far as mobility and you still have that continuous padding across the front and back of the shoulder areas. The difference between the semi-training weight kimono and the full training weight kimono like this blue one here is that at, some, at this point here, just outboard of the shoulder area, there's an extra layer of high structure padding down the length of the sleeve of the whole length of the sleeve of the full training weight kimono. So what that does is that gives you a very strong, very high level of protection down the arms. So if you got dogs that are biting biceps or inner elbow area or even on the forearms or the whole back of the arm for that matter, you're gonna have a lot of protection in this one. And as they move up into the armpit area, then the level of protection is gonna diminish a little bit, but that's necessary to get to shoulder mobility there. If you had the, uh, the high structure padding all the way across that shoulder area, you would really have your shoulder movement hampered. The main difference, it's really a dramatic difference, is the amount of elbow flexibility that's uh, lost in the full training weight jacket. The semi-training weight jacket with that lack of the high structure padding in the arms moves a lot better in the elbows. This one, it's pretty hard to move in the elbows when it's not broken in at all. Of course, that's gonna soften up a lot when you take some bites on the inner elbows, especially. So this is a good way to go if you got some really, really heavy, heavy biting dogs that are gonna be hitting you in the arms, inside or outside of the arms. You've still got, still got the nice protection in the, in the front and back of the armpits.